what killed the dinosaurs? Not the extinction event that eliminated them entirely, but the tiny insults and injuries that took down each massive beast? Popular culture may lead us to picture dramatic attacks by gigantic predators, but that was certainly not the dinosaur's only cause of death. Just like the creatures alive today, dinosaurs suffered from diseases like cancer, arthritis, infections, and even congenital abnormalities. When you picture a paleontologist, you may picture someone like this. In fact, many modern paleontologists look a lot more like this. These scientists use many of the same techniques that are common in research and medical laboratories. Mary Higby Schweitzer practices molecular paleontology, the study of ancient molecules. She and her group were the first to identify the remains of blood cells in a Tyrannosaurus rex fossil. They later discovered evidence of other soft tissues and even the possible presence of biomolecules like DNA. This evidence offers hope that lipids and proteins may persist in fossils and that we might one day be able to recover them and learn more about modern biomolecules origins and functions. Research like this offers huge potential for insight into the evolution of human disease and the co-evolution of hosts and pathogens. How did these diseases start? How did they become more or less virulent? It also helps us to understand the molecular makeup of healthy tissues, how they can become damaged, and how they can be preserved. Unfortunately, this kind of research remains difficult and expensive, but scientists like Mary Schweitzer believe that the return is worth the investment. Hopefully, with a little interdisciplinary cooperation, both ancient life scientists and modern medical researchers can use paleopathology to gain new insights into the nature of health and disease.